Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another multi-part series. It's going to be part, this is part one of four, um, a tour of my BrickLink store. So today I'm doing the new section and the new minifigures. Not collectible minifigures, just minifigures. So this is how I store my new parts. I store them in these little bags that you I get at the dollar store. For you get 80 bags for one dollar, so it works out to about a couple, and not even like a couple cents a bag. It's a crazy good deal compared to stack ons where you only get 60 compartments for 30 dollars here in Canada. So for one dollar, I get 80 compartments basically, and I label them small 121. It's a little, it's, they rub off a little, so you just gotta relabel them every once in a while. And I put them on this pegboard actually that my dad made with me. All these drills, holes. And then I've just taken every individual bag and punched a hole in it with a hole puncher. And I put five, five bags per peg pole. Peg hole, peg pole did I say? And that's how I store my new parts. So as you can see, there's actually a lot of empty places on these, and that is because I've gotten a lot of orders recently, and just haven't taken the time to put these new parts that are new to the store, or that I've just, like say, I had to get to 134, and I was filming my Popolo, I wasn't gonna take the time to put the three bags back on, so they've just gone in this bin. But I have approximately, 573 bags full. Of course, I have a lot. These are all ones that do not have any parts in them, and they're waiting with parts. But then the th there's two peg boards, and they go up to 685. So 685 lots, and I only have 700 in my whole store. So this is how I store my new parts. But you're wondering, like, how, what happens when you have way too many new parts of one quantity, or they're too big to fit in the bag? And the answer is these little bins. So these are just made of paper, two sheets of paper each, all reusable paper, and I label them large two, large one, large two, large three. And in each bin, I put the parts in them. So these are two, oh, these are two plates that are way too big for um, the little bags that I throw everything else in. This is another big plate, and so on and so forth. I have 30 some of these boxes, and they're they're all, if you can see the number, it, mean, it means it has a part in it. So if you do not see a number, it means there's it's an empty area. Now my minifigures, I don't have a ton of minifigures in my store, but here are all the minifigures that I do have, and they are all labeled in M4 for minifigure 4. I have a clone trooper. M5 is empty, so there's nothing in it. M6, and this, and so on and so forth. And then I have a bunch just bagged up, waiting for minifigures to go in it. Yes, that is right. It isn't actually an old Hot Wheels mat that goes on the back of your door. So very cool. Lots of new parts. I specialize. I have a lot of new parts, but I'm slowly adding a bunch of used parts. Now I have a couple hundred lots of used parts that I've just added in the last month or so. So this is part one of four BrickLink store tour. My new new part section. I'm also going to be doing the used part section, the poly bags, minifigures, and instruction, and of course where I store all my custom items. And just before I go, if you're there's this, see this bag here, it is pretty ripped, torn, it's got some tear marks in it. I will leave it until and then when that lot sells out, I'll probably realize that that's a crappy bag. Time to replace it, and I just I'll, I'll strip the number off this bag. So in this case I'll peel the label off, but in other cases I take the permanent marker and just scratch it out. And then use that part to send items in my orders and stuff like that. It's the same with if I see this, it's been ripped and taped and it's got the numbers are wearing off. So next time I get an order, I uh, will fix that up as well. As soon as I sell the parts, I fix it up. So thanks a lot for watching this video by BrickLover18, part one of four of my BrickLink store. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part two, three, and four.